morning, this is Aradhana and today we are here to discuss about the Colombian peace deal and uh, how it was rejected by the voters on Sunday and uh, we are here to talk about it with Anu. So Anu, uh, you know uh, the Colombian peace deal was rejected uh, by the Colombian voters and the no vote topped the yes vote by 0.5%. Uh, so why do you think, uh, what are the reasons behind this? Okay, so uh, FARC was a very violent uh, insurgency group and the, many people found that the negotiation was too lenient. Like uh, the leaders were being uh, given, uh, largely forgiven for the war crimes that they carried out and they were even given jobs and Colombia is a country which is financially like struggling. Yeah. So many people were against these things. And so, what about the uh, political representation? Exactly, given they were even given 10 seats in the upcoming elections. Yeah. So it was again seen as a very unfair advantage to a new political party. So people believe that uh, the agreement was too lenient for yes, the leaders. Too so uh, next, what I, what I want to ask you is that why do you think the government even wanted to strike a peace deal with the FARC leaders after 52 years now? Okay, see, Colombia had been a violent country even before FARC came in the uh, forefront. So basically they established some paramilitary forces, right wing militias to fight the FARC forces and what the government found out that it's the uh, militias which are carrying out half of the violence, um, not the FARC. So they thought that if we strike a peace deal with FARC, they will be able to um, keep a check on the drug on the organized yeah. uh, crime in Colombia. So that is why they wanted to strike a peace deal with the... Uh, so leaders. now, uh, you know, the future of this agreement has also been uh, quite complicated by the addition of a third player that is actually, uh, you know, the ex-president Uribe, yes. who is who himself, uh, who is actually the leader of the No campaign and he himself has put forward certain conditions, uh, you know, in the agreement uh, that is to improve the financial condition of Colombia and so on. So what do you have to say about that? See, this shows the political instability in Colombia itself because uh, we have to see this in the light of the upcoming 2018 elections. Yeah. So now with the no campaign uh, triumphing, the present President Santos has really lost his ground in Colombian po politics. At the same time, they do not have a plan B. So now the rebel groups have agreed for a ceasefire, but they haven't given up the arms yet. And very few Colombian voters, around 63% of the voters did not turn up for the referendum. So it will only the, it shows that the people are somewhere, they have like, disillusion with the political processes. This needs to be seen as a you know wake up call for the Colombian voters and also for the political class because uh, it is a wake up call for them because they need to engage the voters more in order uh, for, uh, you know to make sure that Colombia is true, truly becomes a democratic country and this peace accord becomes a greater success. Thank you.